What's up, beautiful people? It is I, Christopher Roush, your No Excuses Coach, out for another walk and talk video. Look at me, I'm walking, rock and rolling. So what's going on, boys and girls? Good to see you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this, either live or on the replay or on YouTube. I love you guys, I appreciate the support. Listen, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still sick. Um, so let's cut to the chase. There's a lot of shit going on in the world right now. There is a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of speculation. There's a lot of anger. There's a lot of blaming. There's a lot of resentment. There is a lot of victimhood. There is a lot of stuff going on in the world right now. At the time of this taping, it is August 18th, 2021. I always have to remember what fucking year it is now. So it's August 18th, 2021. And let's just recap, right? You know, this time last year, we were thinking, all right, you know, COVID's going away. And I don't know, we had the elections going on. We had racial injustices. We had a lot of stuff last year. And for all of us, I think we kind of said, okay, let's get through this. Let's get through this and then we'll be good, right? We always know we have to go through storms and some of us are good. Like, hey, you know, it's a storm. I gotta go through it. You know, I gotta do what I can, but the storm's not gonna be forever. But in this situation, what's happened? Good morning, Ellie. Good to see you all the way over from the UK. Good to see you. Hope the kitties are doing well. You're doing well. Um, but now we got, we got resurgences. We've got, we've got a lot of stuff going on in the world. And personally, I don't watch the news or follow politics. But I will admit, I got curious yesterday. And I went on my news feed. And normally, I'll just look at a few just to kind of see what's going on in the world. But for some reason, I decided to go down a little bit of a rabbit hole and, uh, and look at some of the articles and really just kind of see what's going on in the world around us. And first and foremost, massive compassion and love to everybody who's struggling right now, wherever you're at in the world, whether you're in Afghanistan, whether you're in Chile, Greece, Lake Tahoe, I just saw a fire burning out of there. I mean, there's some crazy shit going on. And with that, it could be easy to go down a rabbit hole. It could be easy to get enveloped in the negativity and everything else that's going on in the world. And trust me, when I looked at the news yesterday, I just had this horrible sickness of my feeling. Like, what well, can I can I can I do enough to make it make it better? Right? That was my first inclination. I was like, can I do enough to make it better? You know, what's gonna happen? I just started thinking, I started going down old behavioral patterns, right? wanting to control everything, wanting to predict the outcomes, wanting certainty, wanting safety, wanting to protect my family, wanting to protect other people and not have them hurt. But then the reality set in, I can't. What I can do is I could be the best me I can be. And that's what I want this message to really come through. I want you to be the best you that you can be. Because if you're being the best you, and I'm being the best me, and everybody else is being the best them, I believe we would have a lot less anger, a lot less resentment, a lot less insecurity. We'd have a lot more confidence, a lot more love, less fear. But instead, what's happening? Everybody is projecting out and blaming for why this is happening and that's happening. And quite honestly, a lot of people are just flapping their fucking mouth saying, oh, this should happen, and that should happen, and that's wrong, and this is wrong, but doing absolutely nothing about it. If you're one of those people, please stop. Good morning. Stop bitching about shit you're not doing anything about. Stop gathering the wagons and bitching about shit. If you have a bunch of friends that are bitching about shit, ask yourself what you can do to make it better. Not make it right, because everybody's out proving what's right. I'm right about the vaccine. I'm right about the president. I'm right about this. I'm right about that. See, I knew this. I have to be right. Fuck you. You don't have to be right. No, it's not about being right. It's about being happy. It's not, it's not about being selfish and say, oh, there's another tick in my belt to see how great I am. See, I told you I was right. What? Who cares? Are you living your life? Are you living your life or are you bitching about the life that you should be living and making excuses for why you're not? Oh, see, yeah, I can't follow my dreams right now 
COVID's going on, or I can't follow my dreams right now. Biden's the president. I can't follow my dreams right now because Trump's president. I can't do this. I can't do this. You're full of shit. When you put your mind to anything, you can do it. That's why I'm unstoppable. That's why I have a tattoo on my forearm that says, what doesn't kill me only makes me stronger. In case you've never seen it, I tattooed it on my arm. Guess what? Unstoppable. No excuses. Go love now. Right? It's got brand new braces in. Bracelets in. I don't know if I... That one's no excuses. And it says believe. We just got those in. We're going to put them up on my website if you want to buy some. Good morning, Larry. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yes, I still have my cold. I can't figure out how to get rid of it. I'm even on antibiotics now. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to inspire each and every one of us to focus inward. And focus on our families. And for God's sakes, if you have kids, please, please, please invest time with them. Play with them. Make moments. Make memories. Right? Teach them how to be independent. Teach them how to think for themselves. Please don't program shit into their brain. We have to stop the cycle of saying, well, if my parents thought this, then I must have to think this too. Otherwise, I'll be rejected. If your parents tell you to think a certain way, and if you don't think that certain way, then they're going to be mad at you. Depending on how old you are, you need to rethink your opportunities, right? If you're a parent out there and you're arguing and you're stressed out around your kids, please change that. And here's how you do it. You decide in situations not to react, but instead to respond, right? And I know that's difficult for a lot of us because we're emotional. We're emotional. Something's infringing upon our certainty and our predictability and our comfort zones. That's, uh, that's, that's infringing upon my comfort. I can't, I can't handle that. Well, if you tell yourself you can't handle shit, guess what? You won't. You won't. I can't handle it. Okay, and then, you're, then you're, your, your brain and your psyche and everything else goes to fulfill that. See, I couldn't handle it. I told you. You have to change what you're saying to yourself. But in those situations, pump the brakes. If you feel yourself starting to get upset, remove yourself from the situation. Say, you know what? This is really upsetting me right now. Can we talk about this in a little bit? I want to make sure I look at it objectively. I want to, like, want to make sure I don't look at it emotionally and reactively. Let me understand what the truth is. Let me understand what the facts are. Let me understand what the opportunities are, right? What are the opportunities? If you think there's a food shortage, plant a garden, right? If you're, if you're worried about getting sick, get healthy. If you're worried about dying with regrets, make some dreams and go after them, right? These are, all, these are all actions that we can take within ourselves. But so often we live in fear. We think we're stuck. And what happens, our thoughts perpetuate those actions. And we get this vicious cycle, this vicious loop that doesn't stop, and that can dramatically hurt us and hurt the people that around us that love us. I mean, right now my heart goes out to so many people, teachers, healthcare workers, flight attendants, everybody. Everybody's fucking stressed. I'm not saying everybody. I'm not going to blanket statement. But here's what I'm saying. Have compassion. Have compassion if somebody's taking longer in a subway line. To have compassion for people. They're struggling. They're hurting. What can you do? Yelling at people and being like, ah, that doesn't help. That doesn't help you. It doesn't help anybody else. When I wake up every single day, in case you haven't heard me before, here's what I do. I say what I'm grateful for before my eyes open. What am I grateful for? I'm grateful for I have another day. I'm grateful I have the impact to go on social media and reach hundreds and thousands of people. I'm grateful I have amazing coaching clients that trust me who don't want to live in mediocrity. I'm grateful for a family who's healthy. Good morning. I'm grateful for my ability to see things in a bigger picture. I'm grateful for all of you. I'm grateful for my bed, right? So oftentimes we don't take into consideration what we're grateful for and we think that something external is what's going to fulfill us. We think something external whether it's a material object, an egoic object, or a financial object, or whatever it is, then I'll be happy. 
then I'll be grateful. Trust me, I just talked, I just heard a guy talk the other day, world famous motivational speaker, Dennis Waitley. He said he would give up all of his fortune, give it all up for one more year of life. You have no idea how much that resonated in my soul. He worked all of his life to build this career, build this ego, build everything else, made an impact. But yet at 88 years old, he's going, wow, I just want one more year with my grandkids. I want, I want one more year. Yeah. Are you going to want one more year when you get to be 88? Thinking back on your life and how you didn't take care of yourself, how there was, there was periods in your life where you let yourself go and you got complacent. What's up, Angel? Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for being here. I'm passionate, guys. I don't care if I swear too much. I don't care if I repeat myself. This message is for one of you out there who's going to hear this and go, fuck, Chris, thank you. Thank you. Today I was thinking negative, right? Today I was thinking dark, but you reminded me. This is what we get. Everything else is going on in the world, but here it is. And I'm not saying being blind to it. I'm saying just enjoy and embrace. And if you got stuff, share it, right? We got Haiti. Haiti just had one or two earthquakes, a tropical storm. Help Heal Humanity has been trying to rebuild Haiti, build schools. We were just doing a fundraising campaign to get the kids back into school and feed them every single day. And now this happens. So meanwhile, we can start raising money and start helping them and start building people up. And of course, yes, yes, yes. Here in the United States, of course, that's why we have the USA board for Help Heal Humanity, which I am now on. So I am putting my head in the ring, my neck in the ring to contribute where I can, whether it's domestically, internationally, to make the world a better place. Every day you see me on these walks, I say hi to people. I ask people how they're doing and I listen because you never know, that might be the one conversation that they had that day that's positive. And I was just telling one of my coaching clients last night, you know, she was talking about making cold calls. And ah, you know, people are rude and da 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 da. And I said, you're such a sweetheart. You could be that one person that even though they're assholes or you know, mad at you or whatever, whatever term you want to use, um, you could be that one person that says, you know what, I understand you're having a tough day. I, I, I know there's a lot going on. I apologize for disrupting. Can I call back at another time? Right? Or you know what? You know, hey, I see, I see you're struggling. Is there anything you want to talk about? And maybe just be an ear for somebody. I have that knack. I get people all the time. I, I call customer service to complain about something. And half the time they tell me their tell me their their problems. They're like, I don't even know why I just opened up to you, sir. I said, because I care. I said, because we're all souls having a human existence. And we're all more interconnected and more the same than we are different. Therefore. When we connect with one another, there's something amazing that really happens. So I invited her. I said, you know, get up tomorrow and think, man, I get to make 100 phone calls today and perhaps touch three people's lives that might have considered suicide, who might be super, super depressed. Have a great day. Um, you have that opportunity not to get off the phone and go, oh, they were mad. That means I don't get a sale or whatever, you know, that might go through our minds. And again, it's about changing the perspective. You know, waving at people, saying hi, do you need something? Even starting in your own neighborhood, right? What can we do to be a part of the solution? Bitching, pissing, and moaning, isn't it? Waiting, hoping, wishing, and praying, isn't it? It's about seizing the day. Seizing the moments right now. I want you to seize the moments. I love you guys. I'm Christopher Roush. My arm's getting a little bit tired. Let me know if this message resonates with me. If you're watching this still... If you want a free coaching call, complimentary session with me, I'm going to continue doing that because it's my way of connecting with you guys and making sure that you have support and you know that somebody loves and cares about you and that we'll get you through this. Each one of us has a special and unique gift that we could do. Reach out to your neighbors. Hey, how are you doing? I know I never introduced myself, but hey, my name's Mary. If you ever need food, if you ever need somebody to talk to, come on over. Or hey, I'm having dinner. Let's have a potluck. Let's, uh, let's invite some of our neighbors over. That's something I'm really seriously considering. And I'm a private person, you know, I'm very outgoing and everything, but in my neighborhood, I don't know my neighbors. I know a few of my neighbors, but I was actually thinking about, okay, what would it take for me to have a full on block party? What would it take for me to get and go and talk to my neighbors, irrespective of our differences and everything else and build a little community right within our neighborhood, right? I don't know how many houses are right in my little cul-de-sac thing. There's probably maybe a hundred, I don't know. 
walk around to each door. Say, hey, if you ever need anything, here, I'm here. I'm a, I'm a coach. You know, I, I, I'm a great listener. You know, just imagine one person thinks they're going to come home and fucking turn the gas on and kill their family because they can't provide food. And maybe they reach out to me and they start realizing there's hope and there's opportunity. What can you do for somebody else? This isn't about being Mary fucking Poppins. This isn't about being anybody else, Mother Teresa. This is about, hey, can I impact a life today? Can I make a positive impact? Can I make somebody smile? Can I have some, can I give somebody hope? Right? Can I make somebody laugh? Can I give a stranger a hug? Can I give a homeless man a few bucks? Who fucking cares if he goes buys drugs? If I was homeless on the street, I'd want drugs too. Shut up. Right? I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but I'm just saying what it is. Okay? Um, all right, guys. I love you. Comment below. Let me know what's going on. Reach out. I love you guys. Stay kick-ass. You guys are my misfits for life. We're going to get through this together. I'm going to be here with you every step of the way. All right? I love you guys. Take care. Be kind to each other. Be kind to yourself. And be the change that you want to see. All right? Peace.